Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to go over the new features in the MIDI editor view. I'm really excited about these features. As you know, Reaper has uh, some quirks and some really awesome features dealing with MIDI. Um, one of the things that's very important to talk about before we actually get into the editor is how it handles um, the view states for each MIDI track. So in this project, I've got four tracks. And one of the things that's important to view here, and I'm just going to quickly arm each of these four tracks. And this is probably gonna sound terrible really quickly, but I'm just gonna record onto all of them. <laughs> yep. All right, so what we do is we created four different MIDI items. And what's gonna be important here is I wanna demonstrate how Reaper handles the MIDI views of these items. Each of these particular items themselves are recognized by Reaper independent of each other. So that means if you go into this first one, and let's go ahead and change the view to the piano roll, um, and then let's change something down here. Let's change the, the CC, lo uh, CC lanes. Uh, we'll take out one or add one. Um, we've made this change to this very first item. Now, if we open the second item, uh, you're going to see that while the piano roll itself at the top has has changed, uh, you'll notice that the CC changes that we made did not. It's going to be the same for each of these guys as well. So again, those CC changes did not get retained between the different um, as a global option. So on this one, let's just, for the sake of it, let's change the mod wheel to 15. Again, just demonstrating this. The previous one, Mod Wheel 1, Track 3, CC 15. Okay, something that's really important is that uh, Reaper assigns the last action to the selected MIDI items in this, those MIDI lanes. So the way that you can actually make this a global view and what I'm about to show you with the changes in the MIDI editor, um, these really awesome new features will benefit greatly when you know this. So this is why I'm giving you the background beforehand. Um, if we highlight all of the MIDI items, I just did a Command A, uh, select all, and then I'm gonna click on the one that I wanna open. If I make a change on this one, and let's just change these guys to um, CC4, CC3, and CC2. If I close out of this now, what's going to happen is that every single MIDI item that we look at are going to have these exact same changes uh, retained. Okay, so this is important. Basically, to apply global changes to MIDI items, select them all. Um, if you want them to be unique for each track lane, then you can just click on it and go at it. And that's easy enough. All right. So that being said, let's get into the really awesome features. So if I click on a MIDI item, um, one of the things that you'll notice new in OTR version 2.1 is this menu in the top right corner. Uh, you'll see these new buttons. You have views one through 10, and you say, have a save MIDI view as. Um, what, these, uh, what these buttons actually apply to are the lane views, very similar to how I was showing you the, the type of um, view at the top is retained by Reaper, the piano roll and such. Uh, the one thing that is not retained is the actual CCs. Now, for me, uh, one of the things that's important is that I have a set of CCs that I assign to all instruments that I like to use pretty much all the time on my faders. And then I've got additional um, views that would be really nice to see, but manually changing them all the time is has been a pain. For example, I've got CC's 22, 23, 24, and 25 set up as mic positions. You don't see any of those inside of this particular um, track lane view. So one of the things I was trying to help with my personal workflow is to be able to switch between this view into something else, such as my mic view, um, or maybe seeing something that's specific to pitch bend and a few other odds and ends. What I arrived at is the ability to make any changes inside of the section and then save them 
two different buttons. So you can get 10 view states, very simple, and then recall them. So for example, uh, my first view, if I click on view one, uh, you'll see that I like to personally have velocity, the mod wheel, um, CC2 for breath, CC21, and 64. And I do keep this bank program select at the top. That's because I this is um, used with reticulate. You'll see the different articulations show up in that lane. Uh, but if I want to get outside of this particular view, I've got these other views. So if I click on view two, we jump into my mic view, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So that's really cool. Um, view three. Uh, this gets into some other controllers and functionalities that I have built into different instruments, 3, 9, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Usually for me, the way they're laid out on my controller is 3, 9, and 12 are usually used kind of together, um, usually panning three different items. And the same thing goes for uh, 13, 14, and 15. Uh, going through the different views, uh, we have view 4. Uh, again, some of them will have some overlap, but it's just the way I want to see these. We have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Uh, view five, we've got 27 through 31. And up to 31 is how I've got my, uh, I have an icon platform M plus that I have different knobs and faders mapped. I basically have one through 31 mapped in various ways. And then I've got a separate MIDI controller that has eight knobs on it. And I've got those mapped across uh, views six, which is two, three, four, and five, 102, 103, 104, 105, um, seven, eight, and nine. And that covers my CCs up to 117. And then view 10, I've got set up as kind of the odds and end ones um, velocity, pitch, whoops pitch, and then um, the different pedals. So I've got three pedals for my keyboard that I want to see. So basically I can see all my views there. Now, if I wanted to make a change to any of these views, I could come in here and it, I can add new items. I can uh, remove items. I can change this to like CC9 and then go to save MIDI view as, and then just choose the MIDI view that I want to save it as, and it will overwrite the view that's currently there. So in short, this is a really awesome feature that allows you to um, set your MIDI lane views up for your personal workflow and to be able to um, apply them really quickly across the board to all your items. So granted, the select all is kind of a trick for Reaper, but now you know how it's done. You select all the items. Let's say we wanted the default view to be um, view number seven. So that puts us at 106 through 109. Now I can click off of that. Any item that I open, it launches with 106 through 109. I'm going to select them all again. Double click on one and put it back to MIDI lane view 01. So anyway, hope this helps. I'm really excited about this feature. It's helped me out tremendously, and I'm sure it will help you and all the other users out there as well. Thanks for watching.